Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if it is your first time here. I'm Katie and in today's video we're going to be doing a lot of cleaning motivation, some decluttering, some grocery hauls, shopping hauls, and some decorating. So everything that I love to watch myself here on YouTube, I'm going to go ahead and share with you in today's video. If it is your first time here, I do a lot of cleaning motivation and upbeat speed cleaning. So if that is something that you love, I would love to have you and have you subscribe today before you leave. So when we jump into today's video, I'm going to go ahead and start with some cleaning motivation and then we're going to get into some more like fun areas of the video, like showing you what I picked up from home goods and living spaces. And I even went to TJ Maxx. So I'll be showing you guys what I picked up and then we're going to do a little bit of decorating and then sprinkling in a little bit more cleaning. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. show you guys something really quick this vacuum is so bomb look at all that I mean I need to clean that out clearly but that's disgusting but do you notice the roller what is it missing hair my Dyson would be covered in hair by now like I've never cleaned this roller and you guys I've been using this vacuum for a couple of months and look at I've never cleaned this so you guys want a really good stick vacuum I will link this down below for you guys, but this right here is a total game changer, seriously. How annoying is having to pull out these rollers and cut out all the hair. It's disgusting. I hate having to fuss with it. This one is so bomb. So I just got back from a little shopping outing and I wanted to share with you guys really quickly what I picked up. I went to Living Spaces, Home Goods, and TJ Maxx, and everything I got was a major deal. So I'm gonna go ahead and share you with you guys what I picked up today. The first thing I'm gonna show you guys, these are a set of two pillows I picked up from Home Goods, and they are by the Rachel Zoe collection, and they were $29.99 for two. And as you guys can see, it's got this beautiful textured pattern here on the pillows it's almost like a gray periwinkle very light blue color and I've been so drawn to California coastal lately so I thought that I would go ahead and grab these and see how these looked on my couch and as you can see what an amazing deal I figured if they don't work out I could always return them or exchange them and they are the big size 26 by 26 the next thing I picked up were these two, um, what would you call these? It's almost like a pot, but it's made of wood and it's by the Magnolia Home Collection and Living Spaces has her whole line there. And this was a two piece set. So I went ahead and picked these up. I thought these would go really pretty in my family room with maybe some greenery sticking out of here on a tray on my ottoman so I picked those up I think these were $49 for two and this is huge I don't know if you guys can tell it's a really really big size and this one is super generous as well so I thought um, that that price lined up with maybe something you would find at Target so I snagged those um, the next thing I grabbed is kind of boring but I had to order a new charger for my MacBook so I can edit these videos for you all um, I'll go ahead and show you these. I also picked up these from living spaces. These are also by the If it can focus Magnolia collection and this one was $12 and they're just like a really pretty brassy color. I got the tall one and then the shorter one was $10 and I love everything she makes, you guys. She does such a good job. Um, the next thing I got was this candle. I got this from Home Goods, and the scent is rain. It smells so good. I'll probably end up taking the lid off so it looks more like this, but it just smells very like crisp and clean. 
And then the next thing I got from Home Goods were these little bowls. I thought these would just be really, really pretty to use for decorative pur uh, purposes. So I'm always out of breath when I do these hauls, you guys. <laughs> I don't know why, so I'm so sorry. But I got this one with the, it's almost like a French stripe with a floral. And then this one with the same color blues with another flower pattern on the inside and the outside. So I just thought those were super pretty to kind of display. I got these blue and white towels. You can see they match really well. I thought these would go awesome in the kitchen to pull some of the blue tones through. And then I got this massive tray from Home Goods as well. Oh, these bowls were $2.99 each, and then this was $9.99. And then this tray was $24.99. And I thought this would go so well with that California coastal look. And I already have like the white um, cabinets with the black hardware and then kind of this natural tone going on in that room. So as you can see, I feel like this all works together really well. So I'm gonna try and put this tray on my ottoman with these, with some greenery, with some candlesticks and a candle. So we shall see how that go, comes together. I'm gonna to do that in today's video. The next thing I picked up from Home Goods were these Martha Stewart wooden utensils. I got a new spoon and a spatula. One of you guys on here was so kind and told me to make sure you hand wash these and don't run them through the dishwasher. So I tossed my old ones and picked up new ones. So I went ahead and got those. I also like the way that this natural wood looks um, in my kitchen on the counter, like in my crock next to my stove. So that's why I really wanted to pick up some new utensils as well. The next thing I got was these new um, drying mats. My other one was just getting kind of dingy and I like to replace these after a certain amount of time. And this one was a pack of two for $5.99, so I thought that was super duper fair. I've just been using like a regular dish towel and I feel like these definitely make a difference when you are leaving stuff on the counter to dry. And then the last thing I picked up, this is also from Home Goods. It is a cutting board, but as you can see, it'd be really, really great for like a charcuterie tray. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to be putting this on my countertop probably backwards like this up against my white backsplash because I want to pull more of those natural wood tones through. And then it's also functional. And this one, as you can see, was $19.99, which this is a very generous size. It is not tiny. And then also came with the knife. So I went ahead and grabbed that. There were only two left. So I'm so happy that I got one. But that is everything that I picked up. I also did film some footage while I was in the store. And so if you guys like that kind of thing, I will go ahead and put that footage somewhere in today's video. But for now, let's getting let's start getting super productive so I can help give you guys some motivation. And I really do love to decorate. So I hope you guys enjoy me slipping these little things into my videos. I thought these new pillows were a great place to start and I also got these lighter blue ones about a month ago also I believe from Home Goods, and they were a two pack and I thought they would just look so pretty next to these new white textured ones that I got and just as I thought they looked so pretty they complement each other so well and then as I was putting back these um, cov these pillows with the pillow cover that I got off Amazon I noticed a bunch of fuzz on these. That is one thing I do not like about these pillow covers is that they, that they attract a lot of fuzz. So I wanted to go ahead and give them a quick vacuum and then set them up and just make sure that everything went well. 
and I do take some time to get used to things so I like to live with them for a few days so I'm gonna go ahead and leave my pillows like this and see how I like them in a few days but watching this video I think that they look really nice but I would love to hear what you guys think down below As I've mentioned in some of my past videos, I'm really trying to only bring things into my home with intention. I've been getting rid of so many things, just a lot of decor that looked cluttered or maybe that I just wasn't in love with anymore and honestly just didn't bring me joy. So I took some time and held a couple of garage sales and I've been jumping on the Facebook marketplace and just selling things. And then a lot of that money I either um, just save or I put it towards a few new items to replace those but I'm still going for a very simple look and so that's what I did with a lot of this decor that I got today I'm really trying to shop with intention and I really felt drawn to a lot of these pieces and envisioned how it would look in my head and now that I put it together it looks so awesome I'm loving how this is coming together and I'm just really trying to take my time and not rush the process this throw blanket I got a few weeks ago from TJ Maxx. I think it was $24.99. And so it used to be over on the Chase Lounge area of my couch, but I wanted to make this look very like comfortable and inviting and let people know that they can actually use this blanket. So I draped it over the back side here. And then I just noticed as I was putting this room together that this blanket ladder just didn't go anymore or this photo. I wanted to just kind of declutter the space a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and remove a few items, move a few items around, and then kind of go from there. As you guys can see, this is the next day. The day before was just so busy and it got away from me. So I thought I would go ahead and pick up the camera and just pick up where I left off. But I first wanted to go ahead and get my grocery order in here early in the morning because God forbid I run out of flaming hot Cheetos. Let me know if there is anyone else here on my channel that loves those things. I don't know what it is. I think they're so darn delicious. But we're gonna go ahead and just get all these groceries unloaded and put away. You guys, it is. So I apologize for that brief intermission. I was putting away my groceries and I noticed that it didn't just sound like regular rain. It got super duper loud on our patio cover. So I literally stopped what I was doing to go check it out. And I noticed that it was hailing and hail is very rare where I live. I live in like more of a desert climate. And so I was just like really excited to see hail and just wanted to appreciate that for a few minutes. And the boys got really excited too. And they started collecting some of the hail and they put it in a Ziploc bag and it is now in my freezer. It was so funny, but I hope you guys enjoyed that little clip. I love the sound of rain. It is just so calming, but anyways, we're going to go ahead and start putting away some of these groceries. And I noticed that I had a lot of snacks in here that were just stale or expired. It's just no longer good that we've had from some previous camping trips. So I'm gonna go ahead and just toss a bunch of this and then put in the fresh snacks and just kind of get everything all nice and organized again. Yeah, 
of the traveling kind It's a known fact Yeah, I know that this feeling I'm feeling you could be the one Oh, I was super excited to go ahead and start putting out some of my new decor here in my kitchen but as I was um, kind of staging a few things I noticed how dirty my countertop was so I'm gonna go ahead and just take a couple of minutes and get the surface all nice and wiped clean that way when I put out some of my new decor it just looks really really nice and I don't have to worry about it so we're gonna go ahead and clean off these counters and then I'm gonna go ahead and put up some of the new decor I got and I would love to hear from you guys on what you guys think about it and um, of course it's not totally finished but I think that I'm off to a really good start Baby without So as I just mentioned, I am super happy with how all my decor is coming along. I'm sure I'm going to move it 10 more times, but at the end of the day, I am really pleased with the decor that I'm finding and bringing in just these crisp whites and these beautiful blues. I'm loving this very subtle pop of color, and I'm thinking that it's going to actually look good for a really long time, and I think it's something that I won't get sick of. But here's a little overview of how everything I put out in the kitchen is looking and I'm so excited about it. And of course I had to show a clip of the boys because as soon as I stock the fridge in the pantry, they're like on it and they're grabbing snacks and they went ahead and grabbed a Lunchable. We are actually gonna run out the door and then I'll come back and do some more cleaning, but they just really had to get into the fridge and grab a snack. So I wanted to go ahead and show their cute little faces in this clip. But I also wanted to let you guys know that in some upcoming videos, I have a lot of spring cleaning coming. I already have a part one, two, and three. I will try and remember to link down below in my description box if you guys need a ton more motivation of just strict cleaning. I will have those down below for you, but I have so much more on my to-do list, so make sure you guys are subscribed before you leave today. And I'm also going to be doing some spring decorating as well, which I'm really excited to bust out my cute little bunnies and carrots and whatnot for Easter. So yeah, that's kind of my plan for the future of some videos to come up but as i mentioned i would love for you guys to subscribe before you leave and also hit that like button i know that this video was a little different than my average video so if you guys could hit that like button and let me know if you guys enjoyed it so i know which video what videos to make for you all but other than that i'm going to go ahead and wrap up here in the kitchen with putting away my dishes so i can have an empty dishwasher throughout the day and then i'm going to go ahead and head out the door with my boys and get some errands done but I love you guys so much and thank you so, so much for watching today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Tonight we're running on the right track.